Hey guys, what's up? This is Shelly and this is my first video that I'll be posting to YouTube. Um, I'm really excited and I'm excited because today I'm going to baby shower and yes, baby showers are very exciting, but I'm going to baby shower for somebody that I haven't met yet, which I know sounds really weird. Um, but basically, if you know me or if you don't know me, um, I've been on this ancestry thing to try to find my dad and you know I was adopted I know my who my mom is she passed away when I was three um, found that whole side when I don't know in my early 20s um, started doing ancestry about two years ago in hopes to find my dad fortunately I haven't found him um, hopefully I'm getting closer but aside from that I've been able to help so many people find their families like it's crazy like I'm like Lord like what's going on like you're blessing me to help these other people and bless them to find their dads their moms their siblings their cousins whoever and I'm like but what about me like that's just crazy so I'm like I don't mean to be like oh what about me but you know I'm happy to help these people I love it it's like I would do this job if I could um, I just know God's preparing me for something I don't know what it is but I'm excited to find out but anyway, so the purpose of this video is because I've helped so many people find their families. I haven't been documenting anything, haven't recorded anything, haven't really pretty much done anything. Um, I mean, I have posted on Facebook about it. So I thought, why not start a YouTube channel? Why not document these journeys and just show people like how awesome it is to do ancestry if you're looking for your family? So quick story. So I helped this girl. Her name is Lenise. And... Okay, how did I get in contact with Lenise? You're probably wondering. No, I'm not related to her. But she was related to my mom's, my birth mom's first cousin. So my mom's first cousin, um, my, my birth mom's first cousin tested on Ancestry for me to help me to find my dad. Now, I was trying to test as many members on my mom's side so I can weed out my dad's side. So after she did the test, unfortunately, she came back not related to me, which I was like, hmm, like maybe something's wrong on my end. Like maybe I'm not related at, after all or something. I don't know. But then I had my first cousin test. I had my two aunts test. Um, another half aunt of mine tested. And of course, everybody came back related to me. And unfortunately, nobody came back related to her. Now, I feel bad that that happened. And, you know, it's. It is kind of devastating, you know, living your life thinking one thing and finding out something else and that's neither here nor there and I really don't want to get into that story. So I tried to help her, you know, trying to find out, you know, what was going on, like try to find her bio family, um, her, obviously her mom was her mom. Um, it came out that clearly her dad couldn't be her dad because her dad was brothers with my grandfather. Um, so. I said, you know, let me see your matches. Let me see if I can help you. So as I was going through her matches, I saw that she had a really close match that was a half sibling. So I was like, oh my God, you have a half sibling. Now she already knows she had half siblings on her mom's side. Um, I forget how many she had, but she had quite a few. So of course, you know, it could have been somebody that she already knew. So I go, I research, you know, I, fi I find this person cause I, you know, been using my detective skills. I'll do a whole other video on how to research on ancestry and find people and through their usernames whatever but anyway so I found this girl I found her Facebook page and so I'm looking at her now grant you my mom's side is completely white 100% European Irish English some German you know some other white European stuff mixed in there so um you know so we're thinking like okay so this girl that I find looks like she's mixed so I'm like okay well this probably isn't from her dad's side matching because I also noticed she matched um she matched this person's other half brother which is also from the mother's side that's a whole other story because then they wound up being full siblings so that's like a whole other thing but again i can't really get into that because that's her business and i don't want to you know intercede on that one but anyway so i'm like whoa you have a half sister and she lives in california and i live in california now and so i'm like dude she lives like an hour away from me so the, how exciting is this you know the news was kind of hard for this person to receive but the person i was helping lenise she was like super excited and was like what like this is crazy so unfortunately that didn't work out the way we had wanted it to work out with her um mom's side embracing her and wanting to meet her and talk to her and learn about her you know it was unfortunate um hopefully in the future something will come of that so the fact of the matter is so we, we figured out who her mom's side was obviously through this person which was my mom's first cousin and even though biologically she's not my mom's first cousin to me she still is my mom's first cousin because she's 
pretty much the closest thing I have to my mom outside of my aunts and my uncle. And they were pretty much best friends. They did everything together, went to camp together. They were born like I think a month apart from each other. So regardless of DNA, I could care less about that because DNA does not make you family. But, um, but DNA does not lie. So unfortunately, that's what it is. Anyway, so fast forward. So you know, I was kind of sad and like, gosh, like, I'm sorry this didn't work out the way you wanted. And she was totally okay. And she never did ancestry to even find her family. She really did it to find out her, um, her ethnicity. And so of course I just interjected myself in like, Hey, I can help you. Okay. So rewind. So now all that happens, whatever. So we just leave it like on hold. So I tell Lenise, I said, Hey, let, invite me to your results. I said, cause maybe I can, um, help you find your dad's side, you know, let's crack that case. Cause she had a couple close matches, but not too close. And so I think her closest match might've been a second cousin, which really was a maybe first cousin one time removed or I forget. So I start investigating and I come up with the last name. Now I don't know who her dad is at this point, but I know that I know what line it is. And so I'm like, okay, I know what his last name is. I don't know who he is, but I'm sure we could figure it out if we email some of your matches, give them the names. You know, I started building her tree based around her matches. And so I pinpointed who her, who the, um, what the surname was for her dad. So, you know, months go by, whatever. I haven't checked her ancestry. I've been busy doing my, doing my ancestry, helping other people with their ancestry you know, just working life, kids, husband, you know, whatever. So one day I said, hmm, let me just go hop on Lenise's, you know, ancestry page. And so lo and behold, she has a close match and it's another half sibling. So I'm like, hold up, another half sibling. I'm like, okay, Lord, I hope this is not on her mom's side. I hope this is on her dad's side. So I look at her match. I see that they're not related to her other two half siblings, anybody on her mom's side. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is on your dad's side. This is so crazy and so exciting. But of course I'm kind of like hesitant because I'm like, ooh, like what if they don't know about her? What if they do know about her? What if they don't want to meet her? What if, you know, I don't know, anything could happen. You know, when you're adopted, you don't really know what's going on. So I, I email Lenise, or text Lenise rather, I'm like, oh my god, you have to hit me up right away. She doesn't hit me back, you know, because she's busy, she's work, she's a social worker, she works like 12 hour days, she doesn't have time to respond to every single, you know, message. So, I can't wait, because I have no patience, and I'm just so excited, I'm like, oh my god, I have to find out what's going on, and so I email this person, and her name is Diane, and so I'm emailing her like, hey, I'm helping my friend, um, you guys match as a half-sibling, so, you know, she's adopted, would you you know, be open to sharing any information. I believe that this surname is her dad's last name. Is this your dad's last name? You know, whatever. So <laughs> she emails me back and she's like, um, this is my dad's, I forget exactly what she said, but something to affect with like, this is my dad's last name. And she's like giving me a little bit of information. And then she's like getting really excited, kind of like asking all these questions. So I said, you know what, why don't you just call me? Like, it would just be easier because you know, we're going back and forth, like literally message, message, message. And so we talk. Oh my God, this woman was so excited. She couldn't believe it. And so as I'm telling her this story, I'm telling her, you know, Lenise's birth mother's name. I'm telling her, you know, she was in California. I'm telling her, you know, this is when she was born. And so she's like, you know, I don't know. Like, let me talk to my sisters. And you know, she has other half siblings. And so she's talking to her sister. She brings up the mother's name. She's like, oh my God, I know that name. Yes, we met this woman. Yes, they worked in a restaurant together. Yes, like all these things happened. And so I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, well, is her dad still alive? Yes, he's still alive. I'm like, oh my God, that's like so crazy crazy like this is like the best exciting news I've ever heard in my life grant you backstory don't want to give her business out but what Lenise was under the impression of of her birth parents was one thing and turns out that it was completely wrong and it was not the right story and it was an ex happy I'm mean, not a happy story but it was not a tragic story and it wasn't um it it Basically, the story she was told was not a very good one. And so, of course, growing up like that and thinking, oh, I wasn't wanted or I wasn't born out of love or, you know, whatever it is that goes through your mind, like to know for sure, like that wasn't the case. I wasn't born out of any bad circumstance. I wasn't, I was possibly wanted by my father, just that he just didn't know about me. You know, it's, it's, I can't explain it, but as an adoptee, it's like a relief. Like, of course, you know, you want to live at your birth family. Of course, you want the best thing you know, I can't really explain it, but just to know that either if you thought you were not wanted and to find out you were wanted, or if you thought you were born out of a bad circumstance and it turns out you weren't, like that's like the best news any adoptee could ever hear. And it just, it validates you so much and it makes you just feel so much better about yourself and more confident. I can say that. 
because I thought my parents didn't want me and so I found out that my mom died and you know I was put in a system that I thought hey why didn't my grandparents take me in or somebody in that side of the family like were they racist like were they not I obviously they're not racist I say that because my mom was white my dad was black but growing up I didn't know so I'm like what's going on but luckily I found out you know unfortunately my mom died um, I still don't know the story with my dad, but my grandparents did want me, my aunts wanted me, but you know, one was in the army, my uncle was in the service, my other aunt was too young, she was pregnant, she was like 19 or something, and my grandparents did want me, but the agency convinced them that I was better off, you know, in the adopted home that I was in, because I had multiracial siblings, and they just thought, you know, two Irish people raising a half black child just wouldn't be good for me, and so... You know, of course, I wish they would have fought harder for me and been like, no, like, we want to raise her. But at the same time, like, I don't know that my life would have been any, um, I know it would have been different, but I don't know if it would have been any better for me. You know, I did struggle a lot in my adopted home, but at the same time, like, I feel like it's made me who I am today. And had I stayed with my grandparents, I don't know, maybe I would have not graduated high school. Maybe I'd be on drugs. Maybe I would have followed the same path my mom did, you know, because she dropped out of high school. She was on drugs and that's why how she died. So who knows? Um, anyway, so... Back to Lenise, so I um, talked to, her name's Diane, her half-sister Diane. So we were on the phone for, it seems like for hours, and she was just so excited, couldn't wait to talk to Lenise. And so fast forward, Lenise finally gets in contact with me the day after, she's really excited. Um, it just turns out that her son is having a baby shower, which is today. And so she's like, hey, I know we haven't met. I know this is a weird thing to invite you to, but we're having a baby shower. I'd love for you to come. I'm going to invite, you know, I want to invite my half sister that you just found. Like, if she wants to come, that would be awesome. Like, I'd love to meet her. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'm going to be there. Your sister's going to be there. And as I'm thinking about this, I'm like, shoot, I'm going to record their meeting because I think this is like an awesome thing to record. And so, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And sorry if this message was so long, but... I'm just so excited and I, um, I, I just, I don't know. I'm excited. I can't wait to see this meeting. Um, I wish I would have recorded when I found my adopted sister's family because that was amazing. That'll be in another video or I can, you know, share that at the end of this video. At least share the pictures and maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll compile all the pictures of the people's families that I have found just to, you know, I don't know, just to give people hope, I guess. Or like if you're adopted and you're like, Oh my God, like I want to find my family. Is that possible through Ancestry? Yes, it is. Um, or maybe you're not adopted. Maybe you were raised by your birth family and then you found out your dad's not your dad or your mom's not your mom. Like, I don't know. But um, really excited. Cannot wait to um, meet Lenise, meet Diane, see their meeting of just meeting each other for the first time. Um, I can't wait to take pictures. I hope they look alike. Like, that's another thing adoptees really want to know. It's like, oh my God, do I look like someone, you know? Especially after you have your kids. Because once I had my sons, I'm like, my kids look just like me. I mean, now they're older and they kind of look like their dads too. I see a mix, but it was so exciting to be like, wow, there's somebody out there that looks like me. And so then it makes you wonder, like, do I look like my mom? Do I look like my dad? You know, so I don't know. But I'm going to come back to you guys later. I'm going to show you the happy reunion so excited i hope one day she'll get to meet her dad unfortunately he's not in the state he's in a different state but i'm hoping they'll be able to make a trip out there to see him before um you know i don't know i don't want to say anything negative but you know we're not guaranteed to live tomorrow and so you never know so i just pray that she gets to meet him before his time comes and i'm just really excited i'm really excited for this journey i'm excited to see this reunion or not even reunion because they never met but to see this first meeting and I can't wait to help more people to find their families and I'm dying for the day for me to find my dad and my dad's side of the family and so until then I'll see you guys later Hi. Hi.